Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how you can backup and then later restore your Raspberry Pi SD card. This will allow you to make an exact clone of the software that you have on your Raspberry Pi, and then later restore it to exactly how it was. This could be useful if you say you have one piece of software on your Raspberry Pi, such as XBMC. You can make changes to it, try out different things, and then later restore it back to how it was if you don't like what you've done. So, to do this, all you need to do is download a free piece of software called Win32 Disk Imager. To get this, just go to this link up here. I'll put this in the description of the video, so just go down there and click that. Then all you have to do is press this download button here. It'll bring you to the latest version of it, and then as you can see, in a few seconds, your download will start. And then you'll have uh, a download just down here, and then once this loads, you can just open the exe file that comes with it. Now I've already got this, so I'm just going to cancel it, but once you've done that, all you have to do is go ahead and search for Win32 Disk Imager, and then just open it up. Now once uh, the software opens up, and you've put your SD card from your Raspberry Pi into your computer, into your card reader, what you have to do is just select the device that you've put in. So the easiest way to check this is just to open up my computer, then you can see I've got the SD card here, and that's Drive G. So I just want to make sure that Drive G is selected here. Now I know that's my Raspberry Pi SD card. Now if I want to back this up, what I have to do is select a file where I want this to be backed up to. So I'm just going to select Desktop, and I'll call it Backup. And as you can see, it saves this as a .img file. Just press Save. And now when you want to back up your SD card, just press read and what that means is it will read the data off your device and save it as an image file so just press this and as you can see I've now got a new file just here called backup and it's just writing to it so it's one percent done and bear in mind that this will be the size of your SD card so it could take quite a while so for me I've got a 16 gigabyte SD card so it will be a 16 gigabyte file and hence takes quite a long time to back up but uh, I'm just going to cancel this just so I can show you uh, how you can then later write to the card. What you do is is select the file that you want to uh, restore from. So in this case we can say that it was this backup file here. You just once again select it from this uh, file selector here. And then once you've done that just press the write button. Now I don't want to write this right now but if you have a backup of some Raspberry Pi software all you have to do is select the file that you want to restore from press the right button and then in a few minutes you will have uh, that version of the software installed back on your Raspberry Pi SD card for you to put back in the Raspberry Pi and run it just as you would normally. I hope that you found this uh, video useful, if you did I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like rating, but uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.